Hey, what's up guys? This is Nightwing2303 from wearetesters.com. And today I just wanted to share with you a really nice gift that I received from the good folks over at Finish Line. Um, earlier this, uh, I think it was this month, they asked us all to do like a uh, holiday pick type thing where we just pick things that we would put on our shopping list for other people to buy us or whatever. They came out with this really cool grid. Basically it just shows the stuff that I picked and then there was a small write up on their website which is blog.finishline.com and it just kind of outlined my thoughts on why I wanted to pick everything. Now before I show you that stuff I just want to show you a cool pickup that I got from my bosses over at my regular job, my regular 9 to 5 because this is one of the best pickups I've had in a long time. If you guys like cookies, especially Mrs. Fields cookies, you're going to love this. Yo, check this out. Check this out. Oh my God. Oh my God. It's a whole tin. It's a whole tin. Oh, oh, shit. it's a whole tin full of Mrs. Fields cookies. This is just, this is bananas. This is one of the best gifts I've had all year. Hashtag Fat Kid Mafia. Now, as far as the actual finish line pickup goes, um, these are a pair of Nike like sweatpant joggers, but they are not the tech fleece. Uh, I don't know. Can't remember what these are called. Um, actually, should have should have looked that up. But yeah, there's not not a tag on here. But um, basically, the tech fleece is really cool looking. It's got cool pockets and things like that. This doesn't have that. It does have the Nike logo right there, and um, it's got a really cool Nike logo in the back pocket there. Um, but the best part is that these guys retail for 55 bucks instead of like a hundred something dollars So for me personally, this is something that I would realistically put on my Christmas list Especially growing up as a kid This is what I'd ask my parents for because I'd know damn well that they're not gonna pay a hundred dollars for some sweatpants And even $55 I'd probably get smacked upside the head by my mom for even putting this on my list But hey, this is finish line. It's not my mom so I can actually get away with it Now the best part is actually this thing right here this is amazing. This is a clear plastic shoe box and it actually has like my wear testers logo in there. They did provide a pair of shoes as well. Um, but just look at how clean this logo is, man. I love my logo so much. I don't know if you guys like it or whatever, but I really like it. And just recently, um, this logo actually I filed as soon as I rebranded, I filed for a trademark on this guy because I didn't want nobody to steal my stuff this time and it just went through everything is finalized and now I can put the registered trademark logo right here to show everybody that this logo is a registered trademark and belongs to me as far as the contents in here we got a pair of futures again I wrote about why I picked these um, this particular colorway is really nice and it's perfect for the winter season and then they also lined it with a lot of my logo which I, again I just super super love and even though that they lined the hell out of everything with bubble wrap uh, shout out to UPS man you all know how to throw some boxes real good but yeah so you just slide this puppy open and um, it's got the card on here or in here I should say and it's signed by everybody over at finish line uh, really big thank you to everybody over there because uh, they've given me a lot of opportunities that uh, just that I didn't have previously and I've just really really am appreciative towards it I'm appreciative towards everything actually um, towards everybody that supports and everybody that you know, watches the videos, goes on the websites. Uh, I know that name branding, uh, like rebranding, things like that isn't easy. Trust me, I'm the one that has to go through dealing with all of that stuff. And uh, this particular rebranding has gone really smoothly, in my opinion. Everybody was pretty, I don't know how to, how to explain it, but everybody just kind of went with it really well. And, um, you know, big thank you to the brands uh, for showing support. It's just been a, it's just been one hell of a year, man. I thought that, that 2013 was cool, but 2014 was crazy. You guys probably want to see the actual shoes, so I should probably stop blabbing. But here they are. This is um, still woven, uh, but it is more of a wool instead of just like a woven nylon. So this is like more uh, winterized, I guess you could say. And then instead of having translucent outsoles, they got clear, or uh, not clear, uh, solid outsoles, which again is more for winter, wet weather, and things like that. Because this will, this will yellow eventually, but it won't yellow the same way that a translucent outsole will. And then they still kept that kind of like Air Jordan 11 heritage or look or whatever you want to call it uh, with the translucent sections. And then you got this graphite plate there. And you can see that peeking through. The one thing is though, you can't see the Jumpman here. I don't know if I would have put like a Jumpman somewhere or whatever, but it's just one of those things where you're used to seeing the Jumpman there and it's just not there. It's kind of strange. But yeah, there's the laces and uh, the tongue with the gold 
Um, I really like the Futures. I think that they're a really clean shoe. Uh, as many of you guys know, when I first saw them, I was kind of indifferent, and then I got a pair and started wearing them around and really liked them. And now I love the damn things, and I think I have, this is my fifth pair now, so it's just one of those shoes that, uh, you know, they come in multiple different colors, and they're just really dope. So again, thank you to everybody over at Finish Line. Thanks for everybody that watches. Thanks for everybody that supports all the brands, um, all the retailers and everything. I'm super, super grateful. Uh, I just can't say that stuff enough and um, can't wait to see what happens next year. I mean, I said that last year and now I really can't wait to see what happens this coming year. Actually, the first thing that happens this coming year is something really awesome with Under Armour and uh, Steph Curry, so stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much, and until next year, guys, have a good one.